Let's look live at I-15. Give me a location here, folks. Uh, the super is blocked there. We're seeing uh, no delays northbound and southbound. That is looking at the speedway as we are getting ready, of course, for EDC. Tomorrow, expect a lot of traffic and through the weekend uh, for Electric Daisy Carnival. It's back. Been here a decade and will be taken over this week. And the festival now returning after being canceled due to the pandemic. Right now, people are starting to show up who are either staying or camping on the grounds. Joe Moeller joining us live from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway with what you need to go if attending this weekend. Well, if you're in the northeast part of the valley and you do notice an increase in traffic, EDC may be to blame. We'll give you a live look at the speedway here at this hour. Again, this does start tomorrow, but people were already showing up early this morning. We're from Albuquerque, New Mexico. We got here early this morning, like 10 o'clock. People from all over the country are making their way to Las Vegas to catch their favorite artist at EDC. Those with RVs and campers started entering Thursday morning. For camping, we're trying to avoid the long lines. In the past, we've had to wait like six hours to get in. Cassandra Felix says it gets busy Thursday and Friday. For a cost, attendees can take shuttles from the strip. General parking is free and upgraded parking is available. Well, all of my friends and I are vaccinated. COVID-19 protocols are in place. Show proof of vaccination or a negative test. We are hyped that they're requiring you to be vaccinated or to prove that you tested negative for COVID. I don't know if I'd be super comfortable not being vaccinated going to something like this. EDC is a business boost for not only the Strip, but the north part of the valley. Many hotels in the area, including Aliante, are sold out. Take a look at the prices on Expedia. Strip hotel rooms are several hundred dollars. Some are $1,000 a night. Traffic will be heavy in this area. Felix says pack your patience. I say get here the sooner the better, um, just because so many people are coming in today and tomorrow. Now back out here live, you're taking another look at the Speedway. The final preparations are uh, being done right now. The opening ceremony is tomorrow at 5. The festival goes through the entire weekend. And another thing to keep in mind that a lot of people will be leaving Monday morning. So if you do see traffic Monday, uh, the EDC may be to blame for that as well. Reporting live here at the Speedway, Joe Muller, live local now.